And here is SOL topic number five, nonlinear systems. In this tutorial, we will be exploring our Desmos calculator. When we are asked to solve a system, remember that a system is multiple equations solved simultaneously. We will simply type the equations into our Desmos graphing calculator and look for the intersection points. Remember the solutions to a system are where the graphs intersect each other. We also want to make sure that we are reading our questions carefully. There are three types of questions we might see. Number one, sometimes we're only looking for the x value of our solutions. Number two, sometimes we are looking for the actual ordered pairs, x, y. And number three, sometimes we're only looking for how many solutions exist. So let's take a look at our first example. It says to identify the x-coordinate of each point that is in the solution set of this system of equations. So they give us a system of equations. We have two equations to graph, and they give us a bunch of x-coordinates. Remember, we're just looking for the x-coordinate of our solutions. So since we want to look at the graphs, let's pull up our Desmos graphing calculator. Pause the video and pull your calculator up. And it's really easy to graph something on Desmos because we simply need to type the equation exactly how we see it. So in the first one, I'm going to type 5x minus 4y minus 11 equals 0. And I instantly have the equation of this line. And since we have another graph, I'm going to type that one in. y equals x squared minus x minus 6. And that's it. We have our red line and we have our blue parabola. And the solution to our system is where these two graphs intersect each other. So I can see one here and I'm going to click it and it'll stay there. And I see another solution right here where these graphs intersect right here. So I'm looking at two solutions. And remember, I'm just looking for the x coordinates. So one of them is 3.25 and the other x-coordinate is negative 1. And it's really that simple. 3.25 is right here, so I'm going to select that one. And the other x-coordinate was negative 1, so I'm going to select that one. And we have found the x-coordinates to the solutions of this system. Great. Let's move on to example number 2. It says, which system of equations has the solution set 0, comma, plus or minus 1. Well, the plus or minus symbol just means that we're talking about two different ordered pairs. We're looking for 0, 1, and we're looking for 0, negative 1. Those are our two ordered pairs that are our solutions. And then we have a couple different answer choices for different systems. Well, I think let's attack this by Desmos and just simply type in, and I'll just start with A. I'm going to type in this system. So I'm going to pull up my Desmos calculator. And let's slide it over a little bit, give us a little bit more room. And I'm going to clear out the two graphs that I used for example one, and let's go. I'm going to type in y squared minus x squared equals 1. So there's our first graph. And I'll pull up a second graph, and I'm going to type the second part of the system. So 9x squared minus y squared equals to 9. And I'm looking for the solution set. Oh, and it looks like this system, they cross four different times. But none of them are, gra are crossing at 0, 1, and 0, negative 1. So this is not going to be our answer choice. So I know it's not answer choice A. And when I know it's not an answer, I put a red X right through that answer choice. Let's try B. And clear out those two equations. And let's go again. So I've got X squared plus Y squared equals to 1. And I've got 4X squared uh, plus y squared equal to 1. Okay, so I've got this tiny little graph right here, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit just to see what I'm looking at. Yep, and aha, I see 0, 1 is one of our solutions, and I see 0, negative 1 is the other solution. So we've got our answer right there. It's answer choice B. So Desmos is pretty handy when we're trying to graph and look for the solutions to a system. I know 
Answer choice B is our answer. Okay, so let's look at our third example. Our third example, it says, how many solutions does this system of equations have? Now, we're not interested in what the solutions are. We're just interested in how many solutions there are. So it gives us the system, and it'll, e it'll either have zero solutions, two solutions, three solutions, or one solution. So since we're going to be looking at the graphs, let's pull up our Desmos calculator. I'm going to clear out those last equations, and let's just type exactly what I see here. I've got x squared plus 4x minus 2 is equal to y. That's the first one. Looks like it's a line, but I know that it's not a line. It's going to be a quadratic, a parabola. And let's see, the second one is 4y plus x is equal to 1. This one looks like a line, and it's, it is a line. And it looks like they intersect just in this one uh, point. But remember, we zoomed in last time, and we should probably always hit this home to go back to our regular. Aha. I can see that this first one was a parabola, and the second one was a line. It intersects in two different spots, this system. Now, again, we don't need to know the x-coordinates or what these ordered pairs are, are. We just need to know that there are two solutions. And that, of course, is answer choice B, two solutions. Thanks for watching this tutorial, and please do the other practice problems in this packet. Thank you.